Good morning everyone. Today is uh, February 22nd, 2024. Time right now is 8.54 a.m. Eastern. So yesterday we could not take out the January highs and um, I discussed about the trade I took in my um, Discord video and then we started going higher. Um, and of course we had a spike. I put the spike over here as you can see at 49.87. I'll just talk about all of that in a bit. But what's most important, guys? This was that two-day balance. It breached in. It's opening here. Now, there's still time. It can still come back down. It could come back down. I don't know. But basically, what we have is this is yesterday's high. And if the open is anywhere above that, that's a gap up, right? So this is a big gap. If the market, say, opens here, that's a big gap up. I mean, one of the, really, really a big gap. I've not seen such you don't get to see such big gaps quite that often. So this is a big gap. It broke through these two day balance and it's opening about 60 points higher almost if it opens here. Um, another thing to observe, we had the non-excess highs from the all time highs, right? So uh, maybe we are going to try and fix that and continue higher. But what's, what's also another observation is that in the overnight session, we have an all-time high. If you look, this has gone over, let me try and bring this in, over this high, okay? That level there is, oh, it went somewhere here. So as per market profile theory and in general, basically, is you don't get all-time highs in the overnight session, meaning the odds are high that you, when the market opens, or maybe not today, but some other day, these all-time highs will be taken out in the regular trading hours. So that's what I mean by it not lasting too long in of the all-time highs in the overnight session. Maybe it could happen now in the next half an hour, I mean, one hour. So that's what it means, but this is a big gap up, guys. It's a big gap up. Don't fight the gap. When I say fight, I mean the larger the gap, the lower the odds of it getting filled, meaning if the market opens here, this is the high from yesterday. So for this gap to get filled, it's a long way down. I'm not saying it cannot happen, it, anything can happen, but the odds are low, right? So first things first, I will see if it stays over this two day balance, if we see continuation higher after we take out the all time highs, is that good continuation? This trend line, you know, which I drew, um, I just left it there. I'm just going to observe that. It's not something I would trade. But let's see if the market does open there. You know, that 5,100 is your first uh, resistance, right? That would be that level there. So something to watch. Keep in mind, it's just one data point. But of course, the value is going to be higher. There's going to be a huge gap. And you, you know, watch this two-day balance here, you watch this all-time high. And that's how I will approach this day. Now, if it does break that back down, then I will watch to see the single prints in the overnight getting filled first. So where are the single prints? Now, let me just quickly collapse this. You see there's single prints here in the overnight, there's single prints here, there's a single print here, and you have the POC, the single prints here. So uh, first things first, gap guidelines then balance guidelines, then single prints, then POC. Obviously the POC is not prominent, but we have a POC, it's not prominent. More important is the single prints, okay? All right guys, um, let me know if any questions, trade safe and aloha.